Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Grade a core set, Duelist Nexus. Okay, so let's talk about the new type, Illusion. Illusion is a new type introduced in Duelist Nexus. And we also have a new TCG exclusive archetype, Testina. Testina comes a, is introduced in Duelist Nexus and exclu with the archetype potential of 30%. Whether it's going to do well in TCG in the competitive scene is yet to be seen. Um, with a potential that's really quite low, we really don't know whether this archetype will take the game by storm, but it has a lot of things going for it. Okay, and so let's see the sort of cards that we're going to be seeing in this Duelist Nexus set. We have the value card Crimson Dragon. Now Crimson Dragon is a card that come, that's out in this set and uh, it's got a similar effect to Argopane. Wait a minute, that can't be right. But in a sense, this card, um, I think I've had a discussion with some players or some guys at Locals and they said that it's quite similar to just Verte Anaconda and it is a synchro version of Verte Anaconda. Well, you know, things couldn't possibly, you know, go wrong. I mean, it's quite strong. I mean, it's a synchro 12. I mean, those are hard to make, right? You expect me to believe that. Anyways, outside of those um, lofty expectations and of Konami doing some actual uh, research, that's kind of the truth in seeing that synchro trolls are hard to make. Um, but I think who knows what will happen in the future. Its effects are powerful and, you know, it allows you to cheat out um, synchro monsters. That sounds oddly familiar. It's not like we will do anything crazy. I'm sure the hellscape I can see arriving in the distance is just your imagination. Infernobles. There's not really much to say here. You know, Infernobles are not really going to go anywhere. And its legacy support is not really enough to make this Duelist Nexus set really good, I guess. We'll see what happens there. We have then, you know, our wild card, Fusion Armament and Revolution Synchron. First, let's talk about Fusion Armament. Fusion Armament is very interesting. So, we do have another Fusion card, I can't forget its name, but it allows you to, I can't remember its name though, but it allows you to special summon a Fusion Monster, a Fusion Material Monster from your deck. I think it's Fusion Deployment, I believe. Who knows? Um, you know, one of the materials, but you're stuck to Fusions. Now the difference here is for fusion summoning for the rest of the turn. Now the difference here is with fusion armament, it does the same thing, but you are not stuck to fusions for the rest of the turn. The word freeze. Do you know why? It means I can do silly things for no reason. This means that, for example, if you're to use this in, let's say, Manadium or some other sort of fusion base focus decks, um, that uh, you know, Manadium especially. It could do you wonders. For example, with Manadium, they can't really use Fusion Deployment as it locks you to Fusion after using it. But Facts. It means that you could special summon Vicious Starfrost from your deck by by targeting, you know, Vicious Astroloud, as you know, Starfrost is one of the materials, and you get the general idea. You can do a lot of things here. And this is not just with Manadium, this is with any other um, deck that you can think of. The ability to special summon a monster from your deck, not being locked into fusion summoning for the rest of the turn. The Sounds broken. Tell me more. We also have uh, Revolution Synchron. Now, Revolution Synchron is another wild card that is good just simply because it allows you to hand synchro. I believe it's the first um, main deck tuner in the what we have in Yu-Gi-Oh that allows you to synchro summon you know from your hand we do have uh, cards that do this but they're usually extra deck monsters and they're not main deck monsters the main deck tuners and so revolution synchron being the first of its kind we'll see how that plays out 
for the game. And so we have our support update, Manadium, Visus, and Rescue Ace. So these are the three archetypes, get support in Duelist Nexus. And uh, we'll see how that impacts our meta in the future and whether the support update is enough to give them a spot on our competitive scene. Okay, and so it's time to grade the set. Now, with all things considered, Duelist Nexus is, a, is an interesting set. We've had other sets before, and definitely we're gonna be, and definitely things are looking quite interesting. But in seeing what cards are in this set, in seeing the power level of this set, the interest of this set, and all things considered, our final grade is E. E is for excellent. Yes, that's it. E, you know, for excellent. As we, as I've just said there, there's not much really going for this set. Well, yes, it is a good set. It's just an average set. I don't feel it's a set that has anything that is mind-boggling or uh, crazy here. While yes, Revolution Synchron is, we would say, you know, nice. But it's, I would definitely say it's being overvalued here. I mean, the only thing it does is allows you to synchro summon from your hand. Crimson Dragon again, while that's a really great uh, card, again, it's a Synchro 12, and I would say it has, uh, I would say it requires a lot of investment. You expect me to believe that? Um, sure its effect is kind of bonkers. What made you get to that assumption? Ain't gonna lie. But, you know, I think overall, in my opinion, with just all the other things in this set, with all the impact of other previous sets we've had in the future and what they've added to the game, we, do, we only have one really value card here, which is Crimson Dragon. We don't have a lot of value cards in this set. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.